It's time to take the good with the bad. Love it or hate it on Asteroid G. You're listening to Not So Live from Asteroid G. I'm Mike Finkelstein. With me, as always, is... Uh, Josh Schaefer. Not gonna give up my shot, Queen B. And Bex. <laughs> and today we are doing a love it or hate it for Hamilton which is now the a recording of the theatrical production with Lin-Manuel Miranda. Uh, I, I, was it the original cast recording, like, live? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is in Disney+. Plus. So everyone that's wanted to see Hamilton and couldn't because the tickets are hideously expensive can now go and finally see Hamilton cheaply. So yeah. everyone here has done so. I know mm-hmm. Queen Bee has watched it multiple times. Josh, yes. you watched it for this, but you've, what, listened to the cast recording before or something? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then Becky and myself attempted this, and she made it further into the thing than I did. I didn't make it very far at all. So I, I made it to the intermission. <laughs> yeah, and the intermission comes up, and you and I looked at each other. We're like, oh, my God, that's only half of it. <laughs> yeah. So... For those in support of Hamilton, I will let you go first. Oh, okay. In support of Hamilton, Josh, you go first. Uh, (laughs) So, I will, because I love Hamilton, and I made it all the way through very easily, and I wanted to see more of it. That's awesome. But, uh, it hit a lot of things for me. I love history, so it was a very, it was a pretty unapologetic, factual thing. You know, like, uh, it covered his scandals and all that. So him being Hamilton. So uh, I really liked that. And um, I, I listened to, to a lot of hip hop and raps. Yeah. Um, so the music, the music didn't bother me. I know some people had, especially people that don't listen to a lot of that, um, that I've heard just talk about it. Um uh, they they had a hard time following along with just you know if you don't listen to rap maybe it's harder to pick up, um, but uh, I loved the choreography in it. Um, the uh, the stage was had kind of like uh, two rotating discs in it that they used quite often for their like fight scenes and just uh, performances. Um, so I I thought that was good. The lighting effects, the acting. Um, the, there was some humor sprinkled in there. So it, it, it ticked off or ticked, checked off a lot of, uh, boxes for me personally. So, um, well, first you have to kind of understand the difference between a musical and music in a movie. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, there are mm-hmm. a couple of different types of musicals, which I think we've had a, a podcast on that before, but this is more of a rock opera rather than just a musical because it goes from song to song to song. Yeah, very it's little operetta. interaction. It's very little interaction between the scenes. It goes from song to song to song. Um, I found it amazing. You can pretty much, if you just listen to the CD of it, you don't actually have to see the show. Yeah. It is the show basically on a CD. You can listen to all the music. You understand where it's going. Um, what I really enjoyed is that after... Now, I watched Hamilton, I watched 1776, and then I also watched John Adams all on the same day on July 4th. That was my oh, July watching. And, and your um, couch had a giant dent in it afterwards. <laughs> that's okay. We just got the seat re- replaced. Anyway. <laughs> um, but regardless of that, there is actual historic accuracy within Hamilton. A lot of the cr- um, bad critiques of this show... Uh, were that it's not historically accurate. Well, it actually is. A majority of it is historically accurate. And those critics who are picking on the small things are just picking on the small things because they couldn't find anything else to bitch about. So, it mm-hmm. might... Oh, nope. um, but it is... The music is different. It's new for musical style, which is great. Um, it all flowed very well. Uh, Philippa Sue playing Eliza, Lynn... Miranda playing Hamilton, um, the least favorite of the actors for me, and not because he's a bad actor. He was a great actor. I just don't like the character, which is great. I guess that means he was a good actor because I didn't like his character, would be Aaron Burr. But I've never been an Aaron Burr fan, so that's well, fine. He he was like the modern-day Salieri from yeah, Amadeus. Exactly. Like, 
Say, you, you really you say hated him, but... Day, but this is a thing about like the Revolutionary <laughs> War. <laughs> Amadeus um, came out in the 80s. Sir. I, I love I love King George and the actor who plays him. Amazing. And I don't care that he spit, so it's not a big deal for me. Yeah. Be a uh, big thing for Facebook book to, to bitch about. But I'm like going, if you've never been in a play, then don't bitch about it because it happens to everyone. Um, yeah. Well, especially and... with the range he was singing in, like... <laughs> Um, amazing. I mean, the entire show is amazing. I would have loved to see it in person, but I don't have that much money. So, Mm-mm. um, my two top favorite musicals right now, and so if you haven't seen either one of them, is now Hamilton mm-hmm. and Wicked. Best mm-hmm. shows recently in the last 20 years. Yeah. So, high marks for Hamilton, but I love it. So, Mike? <laughs> Well, I will start off, and then I'll pass it off to Becky, who managed to get through more of the production than I did. My issue with it is it's a it's funny because everything Josh was taking off that he liked, I had the I had the adverse reaction to it. I was not interested in the choreography, which I felt was very static and uninteresting. The set, which is just one set without very much changes aside from just the spinning circles in the middle, did nothing for me. The music because I don't listen to rap and I just don't care for the art style at all. The music didn't work for me in the slightest. The only uh, song I liked out of the first 15 minutes or so that I managed to get through before I kind of popped in headphones and zoned out and did something else online while Becky watched it was King George's song, which actually really worked for me. There were parts of the lyrical rap from the the girls that wasn't bad, but it didn't hook me in. And just... In, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And just mm-hmm. in general, like... I guess I just don't care about Hamilton as a person because I just was not hooked. So th- for me... Because you're a John Adams fan, just admit it. For it's me, fine. this was no 1776. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so few things can reach the 1776 level and I think a lot of people would agree with that. But I mean, for for me, Hamilton, it's like I can I can definitely see like why it's so popular and why it hits people so strongly. Like, I I can understand that, but I don't personally feel it myself. And I recognize that there's a few things that that are going against me. One, I have a very poor understanding of history, and this at least has gotten me to, you know, inspired to learn about it a bit more. Which, you know, I I think that was the point. Mm-hmm. Um, and and two, it, it's hard for me to get into. It, well, it's hard for me to understand lyrics in music, and especially in the the, the more rap ones that they, they were doing with this. Like, I, I found myself focusing more on, on tones and the emotions that came up, like, through their facial expressions and movements to kind of guide me through what was going on. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but um, I, I enjoyed the tone of it. I, I was super impressed with the the choreography, the the set design, all the cool theater stuff there. Um, I really enjoyed the songs from the ladies, uh, <laughs> as well as the King George <laughs> one because that's just hilarious. Um, but but yeah, by by the time uh, intermission came, I I felt kind of fatigued. So I mean, I I do want to eventually finish it, but at that point in that day, I'm just like I. I got to do something else. Yeah. Well, you did talk about the fact that you like the fact that there's a moving floor. Yes. I love the revolving floor. How it's not just one circle that revolves, but there are two different pieces revolving. And I, that just geeked me out so hard. Yeah. And there was some like, more impressed at towards the end. Yeah. Like, uh, the hurricane song. That he did the uh, when he was yeah. like the, the stage production for that was amazing, and I really liked the um after the Hamilton and Eliza's wedding the I don't know the names of the songs but the rewind song like the lighting effects that they used for that was brilliant, but <laughs> um yeah and also I just Lin Manuel Miranda was a fucking English teacher in New York and wrote this play. And I think, I don't know. I, I feel like that's kind of inspiring in itself. He was an English teacher. 
That's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I mean, he's probably close or at 40 ish, you know, like, and doing something that big so late in life when you have no real foothold onto that. Cause you know, a lot of people, you know, like you go to Juilliard, especially in New York and you kind of work your way up from youth into the Broadway scene, but he's just some random teacher that, that wrote this and, you know, and he had a lot of things going against him because uh, when I first heard about it, like everyone was like, Oh, all these people aren't white. So this is real fucked up. And this is going to be really stupid because it's rap in Broadway. Um, and I'm really happy for him that he was able to, to get more um, diversity into Broadway. And like, you have all these fantastic actors who have started doing other things like W Diggs. Like I'm seeing him pop up more in uh, Leslie Autumn Jr too so yeah yeah Le- and I, leslie, leslie odom is my least favorite character in the entire show um i love the character he also plays chunk on um bull but yeah. the one who played george uh washington was amazing yeah and uh um, king george too who was who's in uh mine hunter mine hunter he was also in glee he played in glee. glee yeah yeah some of the the vex you said you were asking about songs the song that has the rewind it's called satisfied Josh was asking, but sure. Oh, no, yeah. sorry. Josh, it was, it's called Satisfied. I know, I know Becky and I. Hurricane. Did oh, you guys I was right. right. Your voices are so similar. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I, I get I get Josh confused with everybody. <laughs> um, yeah. I can see that. My, my, I have a couple of favorite songs from this musical. Um, yeah, the Skyler Sisters is great, but um, my, favorite, my favorite song for the entire thing is Yorktown. Or basically, it, it tells the story of the battle that was won for us to actually win the war, which happened in like 1885, 1885, 1881, mm-hmm. something like that. Um, that's my favorite song. My least favorite song in this show is Dear Theodosia, I Could Care Less. Um, yeah. Um, I actually like the cabinet battles, and I'm not a big person for rap either, mostly because I can't rap. I'm really bad at it. <laughs> um it's definitely my, a skill that's hard to my, master. Yeah, it really is. Um, my son's favorite song for this is uh, The Room Where It Happens. That's his favorite song. Oh, that was a really good song, too. I like it, so too. So telling and so accurate, even today, it's mm-hmm. so accurate. Um, uh, my best female song, I think, in this is Burn by Philippa Sue. And mm-hmm. I can actually sing that one, so that makes me happy. Um, yes. We but, should play uh, that in our band. We oh. should. Mike, Mike oh. won't do it. Um, nope. Executive veto. <laughs> that was not even rappy. That was Don't actually care. a musical song. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your favorite song, Josh? Oof. Um, uh, I really liked the. Uh, um, sorry, I'm really bad with song names, as you know from mm-hmm. um, well, band tell me practice. What when you're thinking of, and I'll tell but, you what the fuck out of this. I will. I will never be satisfied. Song. Um, yeah, that's satisfied. Satisfied. Yeah, I really like that song. Um, uh, and I really liked uh, um, the uh, the song that they sang at the bar. It was like the second or third song, I think. The story of tonight. Yeah, the story of tonight was good too. Yeah, the but, story of tonight. It's reprised right after satisfied mm-hmm. um and then uh the 10 dual commandments is also pretty funny i liked that one a lot. oh yeah i like that one too like honestly there wasn't a song that i can point to where i was like that did not fit for me at all um oh, yeah uh, dear theodosia i hate that song like it, it annoys me to a lot of degrees just not happy with aaron burr i could care less about his love <laughs> Like, uh, I'm glad that they didn't try to make him sympathetic. Like, he was, like, just a snake throughout the entire thing. And... Now, here's here's the thing with regards to Hamilton. I'm not a Hamilton fan. Like, the person himself. Oh, um, no, he was a sack of shit. Yeah, he really was a sack of shit. But, um, and I can see why he did not like John Adams. And I like the fact that in this musical, they do put little things in there, which kind of said why Hamilton didn't like John Adams. Mm-hmm. I'm a big John Adams fan. I love John Adams. And that's partially because of 1776. So yeah. um, with that said, y- you can kind of see they were so like, although they were opposite in the same party, opposite characteristics, but in the same party, they're both trying to head for the same goal. So I can see why 
Hamilton didn't like John Adams because he saw everything that he couldn't be in John mm -hmm. Adams. And yeah. John Adams saw everything that he didn't want to be in Hamilton. Yeah, well, so well, if you look between the two of those, it kind of gives you an insight into history. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure, like, I can't remember where I read this, but um, I read something at some point. I think it was about Hamilton. It's either Hamilton or Jefferson that the that current historians think that he might have been autistic. Um, and that kind of puts a lot of the story into better perspective, too. Hamilton or John Adams? Uh, Hamilton. Yeah, I can see that. Um, or it might have been Jefferson, though. I can't remember. But... Oh, Jefferson was totally <laughs> autistic. Yeah. Um, so I might be thinking about Jefferson. He had a lot of... Uh, uh, the, one of the reasons that he was, he was called a tombstone and didn't talk, but did all these other things, is because he had problems talking to people. Yeah. Very autistic trait. Mm hmm so, but I, I did eloquent in, in his writing which made yeah. him a better writer I did like David Diggs as uh, Thomas Jefferson though oh yes amazing amazing mm -hmm. um the actor who plays I don't know if you guys watch Legacies at all but there is an actor um who, who's in Legacies who plays one of the vampires was who was in the Chicago version and played uh Thomas Jefferson in and Lafayette oh, cool. in the Chicago version of Hamilton. Trivia. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, we we took this to a historic. I was gonna say you're you're <laughs> still not selling me on this thing though. <laughs> you no, know, well, you're, you're just a lost cause, Mike. <laughs> oh, I tried. Yeah. I did try. Beginning. You weren't gonna like it. I, I know what musicals you can stand, and this yeah. is not one of them. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it's like for and like as you were talking about. Um, the the guy Lin Manuel and mm -hmm. like how he developed this and the, the just you know changing so much having like what one or two whiteies white people in there and the and the rest <laughs> the white people wow bags okay. yep yep I'm yeah, bringing it out um we can say she's white whiteies yeah <laughs> they prefer the term honkies now. I, I oh, really? Jive turkeys. Cracker. Jive turkeys. <laughs> oh, right. Done. Okay, a couple of, only a couple of jive turkeys in this whole thing. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and and like, he, he really broke down so many barriers with this. It's the type of thing that I can find inspiring, and it, it's probably why I will never probably say a bad thing about it or rail against it It'd be like yeah it may not be for me but i still support this whole thing because on the whole it is good oh yeah mm. what the show does is great i just never want to watch it because <laughs> it's <laughs> not for me just yeah it's, it's not for you mike musically and production wise yeah <laughs> so. we, we, we grant that it is not a musical for you no yeah. there aren't a lot that are for me though so that's yeah that's it, it's like nature you you enjoy that it's out there and doing good things it exists but <laughs> you don't want to be a part of it no, no. <laughs> yeah i i will agree that uh, this this play this musical did bring a lot of things to light it uh -huh. does support it does support the Black Lives Matter movement right now. So mm -hmm. it, it is all about that right there. Um, it, even though Hamilton was a douchebag, um, it does a lot of things to help current movements going on right now. I mean, so, yeah. arguably, well, it, most of the founding fathers weren't always the best dudes anyway. Yeah. Uh, you're absolutely 100% right. Yep. Um, un unfortunately, you know, it is what that is. Well, it takes a certain kind of personality to excel in politics. I mean, you can look at it throughout the ages, and someone who actually wants to strive to be a leader and to put themselves out there tends to have some sort of, maybe not autism, but some sort of, like... Per in personality defect. Exactly. Personality thing that says that I should be number one, I'm going to put myself out there, and I don't always think about what other people are thinking about. Like, I'll think about them in the abstracts and what's good morally... But up close, when I'm face to face with someone, not so much. Well, that's why I like George Washington so much. Like, yeah, he had skeletons in his closet, like anyone else. But he, as far as I know, anyway, out of all of the presidents we've had, he's the only one that didn't want to be president, and it was literally forced on him <laughs> twice. And then he's like, twice. "No, I'm out. I'm done." Yeah. <laughs> like they were like, "You should be king," and he was like, "Nope, no." That's... 
See ya. What did we just fight for, guys? Like, really? <laughs> so, <laughs> but, like, and everyone always is like, oh, I want to be like Abraham Lincoln. It's like, well, that's cool, but be like Washington. You shouldn't want to work there because, like, no one wants to work in the public or should want to work in the public sector. It's something that's like a duty. Yeah. And it's yeah. not a job. It's a duty. <laughs> Duty. Duty. <laughs> Thank you. I, I wanted to say it too, but I was like, I, I don't want to. That, I feel, I kind to feel like it. You can't say it to yourself. I kind of feel like that's the perfect spot to end this podcast on too. On duty. duty. <laughs> Anyone else got anything? No, I think we're good. Cool. Nope. I'm, I'm never satisfied though. Oh my... <sighs> You know, I kept trying to think up jokes about what I could remember, and all I realized I can't remember anything from this production <laughs> for the 15 minutes I watched it. And my brain kept defaulting to try to make parody songs on uh, 8 Mile from Eminem. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Which I actually did make it through and still didn't enjoy, but I did make it through it. <laughs> you know, one thing I don't think you'll you'll believe, but I've actually never seen 8 Mile. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've even seen 8 Mile. I know. And no, it's just one of those things where it's... 8 Mile? It's, uh... It's a personality thing. It's just part of my identity, so I don't want to watch it. That and Doctor I like Who. Eminem. Well, I don't like Doctor Who. I've, tried, I've given that. A, I've, I've, I've. I just can't get into it. <laughs> so, so with that, this I think a, we burned this to the ground. Go yep, ahead. Yep. This has been a love it or hate <laughs> it from Not So Life from Asteroid G. I am Mike Finkelstein. I'm George Washington. I'm one of the Skylar sisters, Queen B. I'm just that tree in the background. I didn't realize you were going to pick people from the show, um, um, John Hancock. And... <laughs> <laughs> He's so <a> cock. <laughs> He's not even in the show. Just... In the show. <laughs> and we will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>